Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Catherine and today's video are things you may not have known about the Philippines. Definitely things I did not know about the Philippines. Am I too close? That's a little bit better. Lucky for me, I had a beau who told me things, who prepped me for things, who answered my questions before I left. But for those of you who don't have a beau, I will tell you things that I didn't know and things that I wanted like had questions about or like I could have asked Bo but I was like eh, I'll just see what it's like when I get down there right right oh also welcome to my room here's my nice cheetah chair we are at my makeup desk right now I try to use the lights but like look it looks orange and my lights make this weird sound when they're turned lower so anyway if it's kind of dark sorry about it Things you may not know, may have questions about the Philippines. So first of all, transportation. How you're gonna get island to island, either by plane, if it's far away, or by a ferry. So, and everything is super, super cheap. So cheap, like ferry tickets were like two to three dollars, four dollars, five dollars. Uh, bus tickets were like three dollars. Very, very affordable down there, it's awesome. Ferries, how you're gonna get around on the islands. You can either take a trike or you can rent a motorbike. I learned how to ride a motorbike down there, as I'm sure you've heard, because I thought I was so cool because I knew how to ride one. I'm kind of a big deal. Everyone knows how to ride one. I just didn't, but now I know. So, so you can rent a motorbike for the day. It's usually anywhere between like three and seven dollars. Seven's kind of expensive, so I'm like, find those cheaper ones. Or you can take a trike, and the trike's like, a few pesos it's not like 100 200 pesos so there you go and the way the money works just a simple trick because i had asked bo for like two weeks straight i was like how much is 100 pesos in american dollars <laughs> he was like oh my god figure it out so i did just multiply it by two for example 100 pesos is two dollars see by two 200 pesos four dollars are we understanding the picture? 20,000 pesos, no. 1,000 pesos, $20. So, and so on and so forth. And yes, so you'll get around by a motorbike. It's pretty fun to ride the motorbike. What I did not know is about the motorbikes <laughs> is in the Philippines, there's like no strict laws, no strict road laws. So people are passing each other on both sides. So if you're like driving this way, a Big truck is coming at you this way because they're trying to get some, around somebody else and it's kind of freaky at first <laughs> just because everyone's in the wrong lane, everyone's zooming past each other, there's no speed limit but I mean you can't drive a motorbike as fast as you can drive a car so like it's cool. There's like sometimes there's checkpoints where uh, if you're not wearing a helmet or like a cop might motion for you to pull over and you're just showing your license and registration your american license you don't need a universal like drive anything license i know that's something somewhere but i don't have that i just have my standard alabama license and it worked like a charm it's kind of crazy to learn how to drive on those roads but it wasn't bad it was actually kind of fun after a while it's not fun to sit in traffic with it or in the rain mm -mm. but like on a deserted isolated island you just run around on your little mo break so fun, so free, so lovely. So yes, that's transportation. Uh, some gross things. Toilet paper is a privilege, not a right down there, okay? Mm. So it may not be a big deal if you're a guy, but if you're a girl, uh, kind of a big deal. <laughs> so bring toilet paper everywhere, everywhere. Even the nice like malls, um, I went to the stall a few times without any toilet paper and there's no toilet paper in those stalls usually Sometimes like when you walk into the bathroom There's a big toilet paper and you just grab whatever you think you need then go into the stall So just keep those little Kleenex packs, you know in your backpack or purse They're good for your nose and your butt and you should be good and tampons so I was terrified that they would not have tampons or the brand I liked in big malls they did have the brand I liked, but most places did not. So I literally bought, brought a year's worth of supply of tampons in my suitcase. Do I regret it? No. Did it take up a lot of room? Kind of. <laughs> I could have had like a little bit more room, but I don't mind. And actually I have so many tampons left over, uh, I don't need to buy them until May. So I'm good. 
I'm good. So yeah, just a pro tip if uh, you were wondering. Yeah. Oh, to bows. So I had never heard of a to bow before. I had never seen a to bow. This is a to bow. Yes. So it is good for showering. There's a big bucket of water in almost every bathroom that you're ever gonna go to, and it has a to bow in it. You can use it to shower. Yes, shower. Or, the fun part, uh, you use it to flush the toilet. You literally scoop water in until the toilet flushes. Who knew? Who knew? I'm sure there's a array of other things you can use a to bow for, but showering and flushing toilets is what I used it for. So, yeah. It's pretty nifty. Actually, pretty nifty. Actually, one time I was in a ferry and I went to the bathroom and I left my I left it my purse and stuff with Bo, so I didn't have my toilet paper. And so I was looking around because you know sometimes it's on the wall and I didn't see any. And so I asked the ferry attendant in there. I was like, "Is there no toilet paper?" She said, "No, but there's a tabo." I was like, "I don't know how you wipe one a tabo." So I didn't. I went and got my toilet paper and. Everything was fine. I had like a whole list of things and now I can't remember any of them. Oh, your clothes, your clothes. So laundry and stuff. I was confused because I didn't know if I should bring laundry detergent and stuff like how we wash clothes. So there are laundromats everywhere, literally everywhere. And there's two types. So one type, they have a washer and a dryer and they can they wash and fold your clothes within like four or five hours. It's really awesome. The other type has a washer and the sun air dries and dries your clothes for you. So that one takes all day. If not, you have to pick up the next day. And it's not bad. They still wash and fold your clothes for you. If me and Bo combined our laundry, it was probably $4 total, I think. Maybe $8? I don't know. But it wasn't, it wasn't terribly expensive to go and wash clothes and it was so much easier. You just drop off your laundry, they even fold it for you. They fold it for you, that is so nice. I kind of miss that, so. Sorry, sorry stores. Sorry, sorry stores are everywhere and it's basically a little gas station without the gas part. <laughs> like, they have snacks, they have gummy worms, they have phone load, which I will get to in a second. But they have just a bunch of stuff and it's, everywhere. Sometimes it's a little shack on the side of the road. Sometimes it is a house and they converted the foyer into a sorry sorry store. So you'll like literally be walking up to a family's house like hey can I get some gummy worms? Like okay 25 pesos. Actually more like five pesos. It's very very cheap but they're very convenient and the gas stations not all of them have sorry sorry stores or they don't have like a little bathroom mart kind of thing like we do in the states actually you don't even pump your own gas you just pull up they pump it for you you tell them if you want a full tank half a tank what color you need in that motorbike and usually it doesn't matter i don't think don't take my word for it on what color the motorbike fuel needs to be but yeah they fill it up for you and there's no some have a little convenience mart some most don't so you go to a sorry sorry store. So phone load. Pro tip, especially if you have AT&T, like myself. When you go to the Philippines, it's so much easier to just get a SIM card. Get your own SIM card for your phone instead of getting an international plan. It's way cheaper. Like, to get a month's worth of phone load, which just means like data and calling stuff, it's only like $20 a month, which is beautiful because um, AT&T doesn't even recognize the Philippines as a country. Just kidding. As a country, yes, but as a, uh, they do not cover the Philippines. If you have AT&T, uh, call AT&T before you go and make sure that your phone is unlocked and not just AT&T, any phone company. Because mine was not unlocked and I made a very expensive call to get it unlocked. Yeah, that was fun. Make sure it's unlocked before you go so you can just go ahead and pop in the SIM card there. Uh, there's two different types of cell carriers down there. There's Globe and there's Smart. Depending on where you are, one works better with the other. For the most part, I use my Globe card, but when we went to Tablas, I got a Smart card just because it worked way better. <laughs> So it depends where you are. I think Globe works the best, but Smart is also really good. It works everywhere too. And uh, the Wi-Fi sucks. <laughs> it's horrible. It wasn't a big deal just because 
you know, I was too busy scuba diving or swimming or hiking or, you know, doing all the other things that you do in the Philippines to care that much, but it was so annoying. <laughs> like calling home or trying to, you know, there's not a luxury of, oh, let me just look that up real quick, if there's no service. And sometimes there's not, so. It's not the best data, internet plan, whatever you want to call it, Wi-Fi, internet signal, I don't know. It's not the best, but you get by and you live, so yeah. Which also, get Google Maps and go ahead and download the maps while you have service before you go out into the world, get lost and lose service. Luckily that's never happened to me. I always either downloaded the map or, let's be real, I had Bo and I followed Bo, <laughs> who luckily knew where he was going, so never got lost or anything. Thank God. You don't get lost. Download uh, Google Maps. So you're Gucci, okay? Okay. Cash. <sighs> oh, this one's kind of annoying. This one kind of got on my nerves. So in the Philippines, they strictly use cash. A lot of them don't even have like bank accounts. Like They just Everything is cash. Everything is cash. Cash. So if you go to a store and buy something, uh, they don't have a credit card machine for you, okay? You have cash or you don't get anything, all right? Just kidding. They honestly probably would still give it to you because they're very nice people, but always have cash on you. What, even at stores that could process credit cards, like, can you just take my card? They're like, yes, ma'am. And they'll do it, but they don't like you. Sorry, I'm trying to save the cash. And then the most annoying part, so annoying. When you pay for something, say it is 115 pesos, right? So I'll give them 120, 120 pesos. They will more likely, more than anything, just ask me, do you have five pesos? Do you not have change? It's like, no, I don't. If I did, I would give it to you. They all ask that. They all ask that. <laughs> Say, do you have this X amount of pesos? It's like, I wish I did. I don't. I just have this. Can you make change? They have the time, cannot make change. It's a little frustrating because the, uh, I almost said vending machine. The ATMs spit you out a thousand pesos. That's like their 20. So it gives you thousands of pesos and most places can't break that. So if you find a place that can break your change, break it into hundreds make your life easier because it can be frustrating so frustrating chickens this is something i did not know i had never been to a third world country i had never been to asia i had never been any place like this so this was new to me it's starting to get dark should i move you so i moved you into the light my closet is oh no that's my shelves my closet is open but i'm gonna block it i moved you so you can see me better hopefully you can i need to figure out where to film these types of videos. Chickens. So, everyone has chickens down there. <laughs> cockfighting is huge. Also did not know that. Went to a couple cockfights. Fascinating. Yes, I was the only girl. <laughs> or I was one of a very small handful of girls. But, yeah, they literally fight chickens. So, most people, they have chickens. They have roosters. They... You know, they fight them, whatever. Also, there's jungle chickens, which are the wild chickens. And they are everywhere. Like, imagine America with, like, if God took all the squirrels and replaced them with chickens. And that was what it was like. I was so tired of seeing chickens. <laughs> so they would, like, run out in the middle of the road, or then they would caca at the middle of the night, or cock a doodle doo, and, you know, at 4 a.m., and I was over it over it stupid chickens kidding it was interesting though very very interesting and lots of stray dogs tons of stray dogs down there they don't like neuter and spay them like we do here it's there's i've never seen so many stray dogs in my life it's so sad but there are really cute puppies and i would throw them some pork belly every time i could but sad it's very very sad i had a, an official list i don't know where that official list is but it is gone now of things that you may not know about the Philippines, I didn't know. But those are the things that came to the top of my head. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. I will be sure to answer it. I hope this was helpful. I don't think it was helpful. I, I hope it was interesting. 
Does that work for us? Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Okay? Okay. Bye! Put on some lashes.